Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a hot topic, which is how AI is impacting coding or programming, or how AI is changing the future of coding. Okay, and I know this is something that has been on a lot of programmers minds or software developers minds so i'm going to share my thoughts on this topic so i'm going to talk about things such as ai powered code generation how ai is involved in learning or how ai is helping coders to learn faster how ai is impacting code debugging and the rise of these low code or no code AI platforms and how it may or may not impact the demand for new programmers. And we'll cover a lot more topics related to the impact of AI. So this should be a juicy video. Okay. So whenever the topic of AI comes up, I get excited because I have a lot of thoughts on artificial intelligence and its impact on coding. So before I get into more detail, let's get into a little bit more of a sunny spot. It's a little bit gloomy in here, so walk along. Okay, so first let's talk about AI powered code generation. So in this day and age, AI has become so powerful that it can be even used to generate some impressive code snippets. It can fix some bugs that you're experiencing in your code and it can create some basic impressive applications. So something that would have taken a dev maybe a whole entire day to create can now be done within minutes with the help of AI. So this enables developers now to focus on higher level tasks or higher level problems. And I know some might not agree with me. Some may say that AI is actually making us worse problem solvers and how we're all now becoming AI coders instead of real problem solvers. But let me use an analogy to help explain how I think things are playing out with AI. A long time ago, before the invention of this modern day calculator that you see, mathematicians used to be the only people that were making these complex calculations. And then with the invention of the calculator, regular people were able to make some complex calculations themselves using the calculator. But the calculator didn't essentially replace mathematicians. We still have mathematicians today. But those mathematicians, instead of focusing on mediocre things such as addition, subtraction, finding the sine, tangent, logarithm, exponents, or so forth, they now switch focus to higher level things and were able to make even bigger breakthroughs with the help of the calculator. In a similar manner, I don't think that AI-powered code generation is essentially going to eliminate the need for software engineers. Because remember that software engineering is not just about writing code. It's also about solving problems using technology. And just like mathematicians ended up using calculators to enhance the type of problems that they could solve, I believe software engineers are going to use these AI-powered code generators to improve the type of problems that they're able to solve. So for example, I myself use AI in a pretty clever way. So sometimes I might solve a problem through code. And once I solve that problem on a higher level, I use AI to just generate a simple UI for whatever I've built. So essentially I convert my Python or Java or whatever program into a program that uses a UI that is user-friendly with the help of AI. And later on, if I want to tweak that UI, I, I can go ahead and tweak it. The point is I'm using AI to do the tedious things 
so that I don't have to create everything from scratch, which will save me a lot of time that I can be using to solve some bigger problems or create some cooler things. So I've even implemented this in one of the applications that I've built within the Easy Coder application, which is a platform that helps people become good software developers. Within that application, I have a feature that would convert their code that they've written into something with a user-friendly interface so that the students can focus entirely on learning the fundamentals and solving problems with code instead of stressing about how to make their UI look nice and beautiful and so forth. And speaking of AI helping with learning, another big thing that AI is useful for is helping beginners learn faster. It speeds up the learning process by making it possible to personalize your learning to tailor your needs as a new developer or new programmer. So for example, as a new programmer, if you've written some type of code and there's an issue with it, the AI can detect that issue and then provide some suggestions on how to correct your code. And as a matter of fact, within the Easy Code application, this is exactly what AI is used for. So really and truly, I don't have the time to review each and every student's code and provide feedback on that. I have incorporated AI within my application where it can detect issues within the student's code and provide some feedback or hints on how the student can correct their code. One thing that some people might be hesitant about is the fact that AI might be making students dumber. People believe that AI essentially spoon feeds you the answers while traditional coding challenges force you to think more. And that's a valid concern, but also keep in mind that AI is essentially just a tool. And it's entirely up to you as a user of AI how you want it to work for you. So for example, let's say I'm using ChatGPT or some type of chatbot to help me learn with AI. I can give it the instruction to never tell me the actual solution, but to just guide me when I'm far off or when I'm having some type of uh, issue. So in that way, I can actually learn faster and not be so frustrated that I just quit learning. And at the same time, I'm also forcing myself to think because the AI is not providing me the solutions. It's just essentially giving me hints and guiding me. But if I want it to give me the solution, I can also prompt it to do that. Okay. So I don't believe in the comments that, oh, AI is actually having a negative impact on learning. I just believe it all depends on how you use it. And if you use it the right way, as a beginner programmer, it would actually help you learn faster than any teacher could. So another way AI is changing the future of coding is in actually the debugging aspect of um, coding. And what I mean by AI being great in debugging is you can use AI to help you spot errors in your code. You can also use it to determine any vulnerabilities that may be in your code. And you can also in some cases, use it to improve the performance of your code. For example, for me, sometimes when I'm writing any code that might have some potential vulnerability issues or I want to reduce the risk of maybe having my program or application being hacked, I can just use a co-pilot or some type of AI tool to review my code and spot any areas where my code might be open to vulnerabilities or debug any potential bugs that might be in my code. A lot of people who are scared of AI will probably say that, well, AI is taken away from the art of debugging and that new coders are going to lose out on debugging practice and so forth. And to be honest, I disagree with that statement because I believe that if anyone had to choose between spending hours trying to debug or trying to fix an issue in their code or having some type of guide to help them figure out the issue that they're experiencing, you'll choose that guide any day. I know at least I would. I spent too much of my time and days trying to 
figure out code issues. And if I had AI to help with that process, I could have built a lot more interesting things. So just to make this a little bit more clear, let's use a different analogy, okay? So imagine the difference between manual cars and automatic cars. There was a time when automatic cars started becoming popular. People who love manual cars or people who learned how to drive using a manual car had so much to say or so much negative things to say about automatic cars. At one point, they mentioned that, oh, if you don't know how to drive manual, you're doing yourself a disservice because driving manual is an essential skill to have if you're going to be a driver. But in this day and age, especially in the Western world, you don't see a lot of people who even drive manual cars anymore. And people who learn how to drive don't usually start by driving manual anymore. And don't get me wrong, learning how to do more things is always good for you. But the point I'm trying to make is, with some skills in the future would be a nice to have, such as being able to drive a manual car or being able to debug with no assistance, but it won't be absolutely necessary or essential. But with that being said, I believe you should at least know how to do some basic debugging as a programmer, especially if you want to become a senior developer or if you want to be considered as a expert software developer. But if you're just basically building some programs for the fun of it, or you're just exploring the area of software development, using AI to help you with debugging will most likely not have any negative impact on your learning. So another way AI is having an impact on coding is through the rise of no-code or low-code platforms. So these platforms make it much, much easier for people without a software development background to develop code. And of course, the existing software developers will naturally have a fear of these low-code or no-code platforms because they believe that it's coming to take their jobs away. And it makes sense. If you can use AI to develop your code, why would you need a software developer to do the same thing that you can do for free, essentially? And I'm not going to sugarcoat it or lie to you. These low-code or no-code platforms are going to have a significant impact on the demand for programmers. But, and here's a very big but, no, I'm not talking about booty. There is already a decline in the demand for junior programmers. However, for mid-level and senior programmers, we're not experiencing any change in demand. There's still a high demand for senior devs. And that makes sense because if you think about it, the parts that AI is replacing is those parts that junior developers are great for, but the higher level tasks where you're combining different architectures to solve problems, which senior developers are great at, those tasks haven't seen any dip in demand. And that makes perfect sense because if you remember my calculator analogy, the simple math that calculator can do, we no longer need mathematicians for. However, the more complex problem solving or the higher level task is what these mathematicians are needed for nowadays. And it's the same with programming. These low-code or no-code platforms are going to take over these lower-level tasks that junior developers were great at. And it's going to force junior developers to get to the level of senior developers very quickly. So all hope is not lost for junior developers, okay? If you're a junior developer and you're watching this, just keep in mind that in order to be useful as a software developer, just focus on creating projects that utilize different technologies, okay? So not just learning how to code Python or some other programming language. Learn how you can use your Python code to interface with some SQL databases or some other technology so that you can say you have some type of higher level architecture experience. Don't just learn how to code, learn how to become a solution architect, okay? 
Or you can just simply take a different route and instead of relying on getting hired by a company, you can create your own company. You can start a business. And in that way, you can actually use AI to supercharge the speed at which you can create your own business. And if you want my opinion, that is the route I'll take. In that case, you wouldn't need to worry too much about how the job market is going to impact you. And I'd like to leave you with one thing to think about, okay? And that is that AI is not going to replace you. So stop worrying about whether AI is coming to take your job. It is someone who is using AI that is most likely going to replace you. So become that person that uses AI so that you can become irreplaceable. And yes, AI is changing the future of coding. And there are some good things that are going to come along with that. And also some negative things. But in the end, the benefits outweigh the negatives. Don't forget to like and subscribe.